Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel Peterisms where I tell stories in my life and just little things that I have learned as I have grown into the person that I am today. And um, I just did a candy review over my review channels. I've got chocolate all over my fingers and um, I'm trying to get these videos done before uh, Alex comes home with little Mr. Boo Radley. I'm so excited to see him. And we just got back in uh, to Indiana from Las Vegas late last night. We were in Las Vegas for the last four days um, for our anniversary, which is why I haven't been filming over here on any of my other channels except for my vlog channel. But I missed you guys, and um, I kept on posting, like, inspirational quotes and stuff on my Instagram while I was gone, and um, so many of you, like, will always, like, if I put up an inspirational quote, will say, oh, I really needed to hear this today, or this really helped me, I really, really appreciate it, and, um, and, I, and I just want to say that means a lot to me. Obviously, I'm not the one coming up with the quotes, I'm just resharing them, but the things I reshare are typically kind of uh, something that, like, if I read it and it just resonates with me in that moment. So, if you follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of, like, rescue dogs, rescue squirrel stuffs, stuffs, <laughs> rescue squirrel stuffs. But, um, I also, like, reshare a lot of inspirational quotes that I hear. And they can be very short, they can be very long, things like that. But it's typically something that resonates with me in that moment. Um, and so I put this quote up and somebody messaged me and said, uh, I think this would be great for a uh, Peterism's video. And so it, it was actually, it's really, really short. It's something that I used to talk about over here all the time. Um, it's something that my mom used to say all the time. So I thought, well, this would be kind of an interesting video to make. I don't even know what direction I'm going to go in in all honesty, but I want to read the quote to you because somebody said, I would love to hear you talk about this in a Peterism's video or something like that. Or I think this would make a great topic for a Peterism's video. And so the quote is, and it is from femaleempire.com or .co. And the quote is, we are really on borrowed time. Choose people that choose you and just let everyone else be. And I think it's such a great quote. Um, oh my God, there's chocolate all over the place. I'm going to have to clean this up. Um, I think it's such a great quote. So my mom, when my mom was alive, she used to always say, we're on borrowed time as it is. It was like something that she would always say. Where She would always say, we're on borrowed time, right? Like, don't spin your wheels getting frustrated over things that you can't control. Don't spin your wheels getting frustrated um, over things you can't change or things that happened in the past. Um, you know, I can remember my old sponsor, he has since passed away, my, you know, 12-step sponsor, said to me, two things he would say to me is, number one, 90% of the things that we worry about never even happen, which I think is so profound when you talk about being on borrowed time. And, and what borrowed time means is that we none of us know, like, when our last day is going to be, right? Like, I, I think, you know, everything really changed for me in the moment, like, you know, or the, the months after the accident. Because then I had to start, you know, asking myself, how do I want to look at the world and look at my life and other people's lives in relation to what happened? Like, I don't want this just to be this thing that just happened and just... It, it like, and learn nothing from it, right? And so, simple things, small things, relationships, time was always very, very precious to me. But after the accident, it just, it, it multiplied, and multiplied a hundred times over that, right? To where I really realized, like, I should have, I should have died in the accident. I and mean, that's a reality. I should have died in the accident. And so, the fact that I'm still here, it's, it's all borrowed time, you know? Um, and there's, I've had lots of close calls in my life where I shouldn't be here anymore. And so the fact that I am, you know, and there are, you know, people every day that, you know, are fighting for their lives or losing their lives or, you know, children and, you know, children's hospitals that are fighting for just one more hour to live and things like that. And, and how much time I've wasted in my life over just meaningless stuff and, and worrying about things that I can't control at all. And like I said, my old sponsor used to say to me, 90% of the things that we worry about never even happen, never even come true. And the other thing he would say to me is, you, you can't, like, the, the kind of idea of don't cry over spilt milk. Like, you can't change anything that happened even 30 seconds ago. You can learn from it, but you can't change it, right? So, to, con to consume yourself with worrying about all this kind of stuff. And it was interesting because I've talked about this on all my other channels, so I might as well bring it in here. On our anniversary in Las Vegas, we were at the pool and my bag got stolen. And in there I had like my phone and credit card and s some other stuff. But like the next couple hours were really kind of focused on 
trying to figure out where the bag was, if, if it was able to be found, you know, where the credit card was used, calling the, canceling the credit card, getting a new phone, all this kind of stuff, right? And there was a moment when I just was able to not really laugh at the situation, but I, I realized, like, I was kind of caught up in the chaos of the moment, right? And this is where I talk about this toolbox that I have. Like, people all the time are like, you stay positive how, all the time. How do you I don't, I'm not positive all the time. I have a toolbox of tools that I use to help me stay positive, right? Like, I use these things. And I use memories that I have and things I've worked through and, and all that kind of stuff. And it was this moment... I think it was while we were in the Apple store because I said to the girl, I said, my husband's been so sweet and so supportive and patient through this whole thing. And I said, you've really calmed my nerves. And she was like, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. And it was in that moment where I realized you can't change what happened. The bag is gone. The stuff's gone. You can let this ruin your day or you can continue to move forward and enjoy your the rest of your anniversary, the rest of your trip, of which now is just like hours, you know, like borrowed time on this trip. Like, you have a limited amount of hours left on this trip. Are you going to ruin it? Are you going to ruin your anniversary dinner? Are you going to ruin the last few hours you have in Las Vegas and let this consume you? It's just stuff at the end of the day, you know? And so, I think that this is such a great quote. And when it says, we are really on borrowed time, like, I have really, really felt that as somebody, like I said, that should not be here, right? That each moment that I have, and I have to tell you, I have to, I have to regularly remind myself of that because I can still get consumed with things that aren't worth my time. I can still get consumed with relationships that aren't worth my time. I can still get consumed with people, you know, saying and doing things that is not worth my time. I can still get consumed with things that I have no control over, you know? It's like the same back in the day that, like, you'd see all the posters in the classroom, you know, that life is, you know, 20% uh, of what happened or 10% of what happened to us and 90% our response to it or 90% is our, you know, our attitude about it. And that's so true, you know? And so it's really every day I have to ask myself, what do I want to give my time and my energy today to? Who do I want to give my time and my energy today to? It's why I say in my videos that, you know, like there's 24 hours a day, right? In a day. And in each of those hours are 60 minutes. And in, you know, each minute there's 60 seconds. Who you talk to on the phone, you know, who you work for. I mean, a lot of us don't have a choice about that, right? But like how you, like your attitude at work, who you spend after work hours with, who you're married to, you know, how you spend time with your family and friends and, you know, who you go out. I mean, I, I, I am at a point now where I don't go and hang out with people that I don't want to spend time with. I just don't. You know, no is a single, it's a, no is a complete sentence for me. I don't have to go do that. I'm not wasting my time, spending my time hanging around with people that I don't want to hang out around with, you know, and doing that kind of stuff. I just don't anymore, you know? And, um, and that's been like something that I've really learned, you know, through the years. And, um, and, and for me, I just, I don't. I, I've said this in so many videos that like what shows you watch, what videos you watch, what YouTubers you watch, you're literally giving me moments of your life, minutes of your life by even watching this video right now, by watching this minute, if you've made it, if you've watched this video to this point, which is the eight minute and 20 second mark, you've given me eight minutes of your life. Like that's powerful, right? Like that's super, super powerful. There are people out there that are like, would do anything for eight minutes to have eight more minutes with a loved one that has passed away, right? So yes, we're absolutely 100% on borrowed time. So the rest of it says, choose people that choose you and just let everyone else be. I don't have anybody in my life today that doesn't choose to be with me, you know? Um, I just talked about this in my Peter Desta video talking about our anniversary, but I've talked about it enough over here, the, the message that I learned in marriage counseling years ago that Alex and I, I'm not dependent on Alex. I don't need him. I'll be just fine if we don't make it. If our marriage fell apart, I would be sad. I would be devastated for a while, but I would move on. I would be fine, you know? Um, and we choose each other. We choose to be, I mean, that is so powerful that after 16 years, we still choose each other. I choose people today in my life and they choose me or we're not in each other's lives. The rest of it where it says, but let everyone else be, like that's hard sometimes, right? Because it's like people want to like, you know, throw out like fishing poles and hook in you and like pull it in, right? And so it's the resistance over that. It's the resistance of at the end of the day, when I focus more on positivity than negativity, am I happier? I'm definitely more happy when I'm focused on positivity, you know? When I'm struggling with something, I'm struggling going through something, at the end of the day, I lay in bed and I learned this from the, the Rhonda Byrne book, Magics, years ago, where it talked about the magic rock at the end of the day, which I think I still have over here was this heart-shaped rock. Hold on a second. I think I still have it in here. Um, it was this, yep, it was this heart-shaped rock. Oh, 
right here and I still have it, you know? And what I learned in that was that focus on the most positive moment at the end of the day. When I'm going through something, I continue to do that today, right? Like, I look, I think about Lil Boo Radley, you know, I'll, I'll pet his head and I'll think about him like running through the yard or Alex and I laughing about something. I, I, I stay off the negative and I focus on the positive because that really helps me today, you know? And I choose people that choose me. I don't surround myself with a bunch of people that I feel like I have to go do stuff with or they feel like that. I don't want relationships like that. Life is way too short. Don't be wasting your time and your life on people that don't want to be there and you don't want to be there at all. Choose people that choose you, you know, and spend your time valuably on doing things, if that's even a word. Spend your time valuably or doing things that mean the most to you. That if you were holding a rock at the end of the day, of you, what were the things that you were happiest about spending your time on that day, that you could look back and say, these are the moments that mattered the most to me. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.